up beautiful people welcome once again to HM Clothing's welcome to another wonderful video in today's video we're going to be analyzing most of the designs that we had on the Met Gala 2021 okay so if this is something you've been interested in please do keep on watching and yeah let's begin with our very first outfit okay so what is up beautiful people welcome once again to H and clothings welcome to another wonderful video i'm sure you're wondering why is this girl dressed up like this we've not seen her like this before <laughs> don't worry guys we're actually analyzing the designs the various designs we had in this year's met gala okay so as a fashion designer we draw inspirations we look at different existing designs and then we create ours from it okay so this video is just to help us think wide look closely and then come up with our own designs or be inspired by these designs that we can see in this video okay so the first outfit we're going to be analyzing or looking at is this Iman's outfit, okay? So it was designed by Harris Reed and we can see that this outfit is a beautiful outfit. It has a bustier corset and then there's a pant. It's a corset and a pant. The pant is a flare pant, okay? And we can see that it has this gold detailing very cool very lovely to look at but what transformed the whole look okay what transformed everything is this cage like corset so cage like corset that has been embellished with feathers and gold appliques okay because i actually had to watch the making of this at particular design and from start to finish, the sketching, the fitting, everything, I watched it and it was amazing to see how this outfit was brought to life. The amount of hours that was put in this outfit to bring it to life, man, it's crazy. So as a designer, you need to be up, up and doing in the sense that your brain is working, people around you are working, positive vibes, good energy, and at the end of the day, you have an amazing result that people will keep talking about for years to come. So that's the first outfit we've analyzed, okay? That's the Iman's outfit, okay? Let's look at this outfit number two. The next outfit we're gonna be looking at is this beautiful Carla Gerber's outfit. So it was designed by Oscar de Laurenta. Yeah, I hope I'm pronouncing these names correctly. So this outfit is a black dress, beautiful black dress. And then we can see that it has an underbust corset. Guys, something I actually picked up from while going through the designs of Met Gala this year. There was a lot of corsets in play, lots of corsets in play. So this is another bust corset. And at the cup area, we used lace. I said we, like I designed the outfit, guys. Lace was used in the cup area. And it's a very low corset. So you could see that the upper part of the bust was kind of like showing. But there was structure in the corset such that even after the whole tightening and fitting it held the bust firmly it held the body he shaped the body firmly and then the bottom part of the gown was a gathered gown so it was gathered at the bottom part and then we could see the gather of the ball part of the gown but the ball was not something it wasn't like a full gathered ball the only thing about the ball is it was structured such that we could see there was some kind of like stay inside that was giving it the full stand on structure okay so this could spark ideas in your head so guys you can draw inspirations from anywhere everywhere okay everywhere everywhere draw inspirations let's move on to the next outfit we're going to be analyzing so this next outfit we're going to be talking about is this lupita nyongo's outfit okay so this is a versace designed outfit okay and then we can see that 
we have denim panel so denim that's like our jean material it's a jean couture gown okay there's denim panels that's jean panels cut out it still has the structure of a corset and then we can see the beading detail just at the top and then at one side of the gown okay and then at the bottom of the gown we can also see at one side we can see a cascading jean kind of gather kind of ruffle effect going on and yeah guys it looks so exquisite it looks so good it's also very fascinating that jean could be could be manipulated or worked on to having a corset kind of feel so at the end of the day i think i saw something different from what every other person was bringing to the table the denim vibe to the whole couture outfit inspiration just changed the whole game yeah i loved her outfit okay so let's go on to the next outfit analysis so the next outfit we're going to be analyzing is this paloma beautiful outfit okay i watched the making of this outfit as well it was designed by zach posen a cocked bodysuit corset outfit that was strapped at the back you know with the whole um corset waist snatching effect going on and then it was draped on her the the exterior part of the garment that we can see was achieved via draping. We can see that V cut out and then the bottom part of the gown with the fish effect going on at the back and to get the full structure of the fish effect, there was netting infused in the gown. We can also see the draping, the pleat draping happening on the cup and on the upper part of the garment. So this is actually a very beautiful beautiful outfit you know i'm calling them beautiful because i saw the process i watched the process and it was actually amazing to see the transformation to see how it was actually brought to life okay and it just kept giving me ideas of how some certain outfits that i've seen previously how it was actually brought into existence so let's go into the next outfit analysis so in this outfit we are actually looking at Keke Palmer's outfit. Is it Keke? Kiki Palmer's outfit. Okay, so we can see that it's a black gown. So this black gown, we can see the sparkling effect. It was actually designed by Siego Hudson and it was inspired by Diana Ross. So she actually pulled back from that, um, you know, the classics because this is actually a classic gown that it's a timeless piece that can be worn i think it can be worn at any time any year okay so i don't think this is an outfit that is in and out of vogue this is a timeless piece and yeah it's a black gown studded with gold sequencing details and we can see the beautiful back detailing the cut out on the back guys it's it's beautiful to just look at okay it's just showing delicate beautiful woman body structure i love i love 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 this outfit and we can see that in the front we have the turtle neck so there's really nothing showing no body part showing in the front but when we go to the back whoop the vavoom we can see the back coming out for display yeah this is actually a very sensual beautiful classic timeless piece i love this as well i think i love every one of them who i'm analyzing today let's move on to the next design so we're talking about the billy ellish gown okay so this is an oscar de Laurenta gown and it's a peach tool gown corset of course it's a ball gown of course but from what i can see from the pictures we can see that it's actually feathery light and the whole voluminosity that we can see there if there's a word for that we can see that it's just all paparazzi it's not heavy easy to walk in and yeah i love this gown finally let's just talk about kendall jenner's gown this gown 
designed by Givenchy. Oh my goodness, I actually saw the making. They actually used 2,500 hours to bead, fully bead this gown. Guys, that is mind blowing, okay? 30 beaders, 2,500 hours. Guys, that is mind blowing to tell you what designing entails. So, what is the long and short of all these things you're talking about, guys? So, guys, the purpose of this analysis that we did is to make you know that you, as a designer, can bring anything to life, okay? Most of these things we see and we're like, oh, advanced is so, it's so um, mind blowing. I don't know how to go about it. I don't know how to achieve this style. You actually can, with the right guidance, with the right holding of hands, you can actually do this, okay? So remember to sign up for your classes. HM Clothing has a support group that will be very beneficial to you. Check it out. It's just for 2,000 Naira and the 2,000 Naira will last you for a month, a month of goodness, a month of, of high-flying projects, okay? And also discussions that will help you be successful in the fashion world. Don't forget that you also need to get your foundation patterns right. If you're still having fitting issues, I think a good place to start from would be to look into your foundation patterns, look into your foundation block. How do you draft these things? Is there anything you're not doing right, okay? So you can sign up for your foundation classes. And we also have an intensive foundation class. So you want to learn just more than the foundation blocks it's also available that will run for three months we also have an advanced class okay so the advanced class is, is everything you dreamed of and more okay so to help you place you for success in this fashion industry guys there is no way that you want to be a designer and you don't know anything about cutting sewing you don't know anything about the whole process you don't have an idea of the people that will be working under you guys that is that is not that's not a good thing you need to grow grow in this fashion business because year in year out styles changes designs changes and you need to set yourself up for success so what's up this number on the screen let me know which of the classes or which of the packages you want to register for and we'll pick it up from there so i hope you love my look i hope you love this headgear i tell you just for you guys so till we see in our next tutorial do not forget to subscribe if you are yet to do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up as well as comment down below which was your favorite look of this year's met gala and thank you for watching till we see guys Stay safe, God bless you all. Bye.